Share stories of times your PC died. Not my PC, but someone I was DMing for. Be Spicenator the human. The spiciest merchant fighter in time. What? I think he needs a theme chun. <laughs> yeah, he needs he, a he theme chun. He needs a theme chun, yeah. this guy. Use sword and pistols in combat. Fight an adult red dragon with party. Kill it. Get it made into dragon armor that gives me resistance to all dragon breath attacks. My master can't join for a few sessions, so I get sold as a slave until he returns. I get freed. Go on a short quest. Have to fight another dragon. DM consistently rolls sixes to get back the breath weapon. He kills me and one other party member. Next session. Party is going through Spicenator's equipment. Wait. Spicenator had dragon armor with resistance to dragon breath and weapons? I died because my master forgot about the fancy armor he was so proud of. <sighs> Two years ago, first time playing tabletop, D&D 3.5 edition. None of us have any idea what we're doing. Our DM decides it's a good idea to homebrew a monster. We hear of a pig-like beast roaming the woods. Our ranger fucks off to the forest to get an animal companion cause roleplay. We decide that we can take down the pig on our own. Search through the woods. Find pig. It's a three meter tall pig demon. It emits a 20 meter shockwave that initially knocks out my level 3 sorcerer because bad HP rolls. Two rounds later he uses the shockwave again. Feel saving throws. DM is shocked that I'm already dead. Die quietly on the ground. I was only a little mad because it was so anticlimactic and unexpected. It's a bit of a strange one that you, but you do get so many yeah. early deaths. See it like at the very start of games, like you know, if you like let's be honest with you, level if you're ones, not prepared and if nobody knows what they're doing, there like, might be fucking deaths that happen. Like, you know, let's be honest with you, level ones die with a good gust of wind. Like let's be serious. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? And a level three source with bad rolls, like, you know, let's be honest, he's probably got like what, maybe twelve hit points. You yeah. Know? Eh, it happens. First time playing D D. Show up ten minutes late, never seen a D twenty in my life. DM hands me a character he made. Level 2 Dragonborn Sorcerer. I can make this work. First combat begins. Cultists working in a mine. DM pulls out a grid map. Holy shit, it's like Fire Emblem. Decide to keep my distance since I only have like 10 HP. Go two squares away from pack of cultists because that's the maximum distance mages can attack from in Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Cast Magic Missile. Hit each of them once. None of them die. They swarm me and I'm at zero HP. One of them fucking kicks me. Two feel death saves. Rest of the party don't heal me. Feel my next death saving throw. Dead within 30 minutes of playing. DM pities me and says my character survived the combat. Play the rest of the session. Have a good time. Instantly hooked. Me and the paladin barely survive escaping the seedy tavern we were in after pissing off the gang hiding there. Accidentally burn it down in the process with my fire breath. Bros for life. Can't wait to finish the adventure. Love my dragonborn sorcerer. Session ends. Three days later. Text from my DM. My character died in his sleep because the DM doesn't give out freebies. Oh. oh. Well, here, like, as far as like first time experiences go, I'm happy for him. Yeah. Because uh, I've came across too many horrible, horrible experiences with first time players, and like, no, yeah, I, I, it kind of put me off. I don't really want to play again. I'm happy for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And at least he got to finish off the session. Yeah. It doesn't really matter that much if he died in his sleep. You know what I mean? That's cool. I'm happy for. Him. My first and only time playing D and D party is orc fighter, elven ranger, halfling rogue. Me. Very creative. I know. Don't remember the details, but basic enter dungeon and do X quest. We enter. Very first room has newts. Normal everyday newts. First time DM makes mistakes with AC and we need to roll 16 or higher to hurt newts. 16 or higher to hurt everyday newts? That's, Wait, that's ridiculous. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's absolutely a, that's ridiculous. A, that's a, that's a yeah. Yeah. First time players don't notice obvious mistake. Try our best, but we simply cannot hit these newts. Like seven newts, and we just never hit once. My halfling rogue has no HP, and too arrogant to hide from tiny newts. Newts dealing 1d4 damage and rolling well. Wait, how, how, how are they, they doing 1d4 four? damage anyway, the newts? Like that's, like how what big damage? Is how big is a newt, Megan? Like, like three, four inches? Yeah, like, they're, like there's no way. What, what can it do? Give you a nasty like from bite? Tip to t- no. It can't even give you a nasty bite. No. Amphibians can get the... F- <laughs> Squish them? I know, exactly. Don't squish newts. No, don't squish newts. They're actually quite nice. Newts are good. I like newts. 
Be nice the- to you. <laughs> Give them your pats. Give them pats. DM later said that he realised they were supposed to only ever deal one damage if successful. My halfling rogue goes down after two or three rounds. Zero HP, not technically dead, but logically the newts would have eaten me right after. Orc fighter getting angry, he can't beat literal newts. Decides to forge on bravely into the dungeon and enters second room. Falls into a pit trap. Elven ranger decides our losses are too great and just leaves the dungeon. The campaign ended there, on our fourth session. Honestly, I'm not sure he was the biggest retard in this whole situation, but I blame myself. <laughs> I don't know. There's hope that, like, I'm not that whole new like, fiasco. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like, you know, it's like... Like, like I know everybody has to learn, learn but... Like, you know, you need to like, lead, over the, like, you know, lead them over a bit better, please. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like, you know, you can't really hold anyone to any high standards yeah. of their first time. But this is a fourth session, so does he... How do you get the AC long after four I, times? I, I, I don't know. Ah, uh, look, never mind. Look, you, got, you let us know your new fiasco if you ever had anything <laughs> like this time below in the comments. Playing D&D for the first time. I'm an old fag. This was D&D basic. Roll up a fighter. He has 17 strength, which is cool. He has two hit points, which is markedly less cool. That wasn't very cash money. No. <laughs> Tripping through our initial dungeon to find whatever the fuck it was, come across a door. It's not locked, it's just stuck. If you roll three times your strength or under on percentile dice, you can force it open. Try to force it open. Fail. DM rolls, I take 1d3 damage from the failed shoulder ramming. Die. <laughs> I want to know how that even... Like, how, did, how did you make your character so broken? But then again, old d was kind of yeah. like that, you know what I mean? He has two hit points. Seems that that lad should have never left the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, that's true. Honestly. Like, two hit points, what is that? Like, seriously, you may as well be a cripple. You, you know stub I mean? your like, toe when he, you die. Like, oh, what, what do you call that? Polio? Or something? <laughs> yeah. Like, let's be serious. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but i just like to say thank you to everyone who buys the models and the titty lizard girls are nearly gone. Well, the titty version is sold out, but the non-titty version is still in stock. I think we've still got 10 of them. Yeah. Um, but, but don't we, worry, there will be more in the next month or so. It's yeah. just, you know, it takes time to... And we have a lot of other different models, so go head on over to the eBay store and check them out. And it really is the best way to support this channel. And we really appreciate everyone who has bought models and you get some really cool stuff in return. Honestly, so, the models do look good. They're they, really I, nice. I, I, I honestly, I, I feel like I'm sucking me in deck here, but I think the models are really They're really, cool. really nice. You know what I mean? But so look, go we're ahead. rambling. Go check it out. Uh, the links are all down below and let's get on to the video. It's been a while, but I recall dying four times in five to six sessions. That's pretty high. That That's is easy. pretty high. Played friendly retard half orc barb in Pathfinder or D and D game. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Is it Pathfinder or is it D and D? Yeah, you know whatever. We'll go with it. Is basically stuck in a country-sized desert arena that has had the north slash south in a stalemate for centuries. First time in the north, we find an abandoned shack to stay in for the night. Shack begins to fall apart, so cleric begins casting mend. Turns out the north is a wild magic zone. The DM ruled that the nearest person gets aged up several categories with all the ups and downs of being older. Surprise, surprise, it's my barbarian. The evil sorcerer, thinking it's funny, casts a cantrip, which turned into a fear witch, also ended up hitting my barbarian. Barbarian is feared for several hours apparently, and due to his combination of feats and still absurd con score, Manages to sprint full speed for several hours into the night without dying. Nice. <laughs> Barbarian ends up finding a farm in quotations. Mm. Ooh, sneaks into the barn and rests. The DM just says my barbarian gets captured by northerners. Proceeds to be a slave. And lobotomized. And lobotomized. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh. What? Where'd this go? Wait. Okay. That was death one. My character is a necromancer cleric. Travel with Grip for one session, doing bits of things here and there, prepping for a bigger mission in the next session. Evil Sorcerer, for whatever reason, decides he doesn't like me, abdicates for not letting me in time, tries to get me thrown out, etc. Hey, the Sorcerer can suck get the balls. The fuck. Get the fuck. Later on in the important mission, we get captured and trapped, along with several orcs. 
Sorcerer takes this moment to try and convince them to just kill me. Or eat me. Hey, this sorcerer can get the fuck. <laughs> Shit happens. We turn the tables on the orcs. And the area we're in is about to get hit by a fantasy mini nuke. Another one of our casters decides to conjure horses for us to escape. Something the sorcerer then did caused me to snap and try to kill him after all the shit he needlessly put me through. It fails. We both escape in different directions and I tell the DM that I basically can't return to that grip or town and can't continue the character. Session ends with us heading towards a lich's phylactery we find out about on the mission. That was the second death, if you want to count it as one. Due to the shitty circumstances and how awkward the campaign setting was, I basically had no chance of returning as the necroclerk and was better off starting another. The new session begins with Grip arriving at Lich's dungeon and having my new monk character join them. One third of the way through we run into a dark pool of water, knowing it was a trap of some sort, but no way around, we disturb the water by throwing a rock into it. <laughs> of course, always works. Like, I, like, honestly, Normally, it, it, actually, I try I, and find a goblin fuck it in. They, no, well, I'm currently playing as a goblin. Good. Uh, <laughs> And normally, I always think it's a good, like, if you know something's going to happen, just start pelting rocks at things yeah. and see if something happens. Some, you know what I mean? Because if you know someone's hiding the bushes, if you know something's If you up, fuck a rock and somebody just, goes, ow, <laughs> you know someone's like, If you just start pelting rocks at something, <laughs> eventually you're going to get a result, you know? Suddenly, an ooze has moved 30 feet and gets a surprise attack on my character, even though I was looking right at the water with everyone else. Nah, that's kind of bullshit, let's be serious. <laughs> Due to the series of bad rolls, I die to the ooze. Yeah. <laughs> That's so shit. Third death in, it's session four. This one was mostly just bad luck in the rolls. Though, even the other players were confused on how it got a surprise round on us. I ended up playing the NPC that was with us in the next session because I met him to the DM I liked the aesthetic of the faction he was from. Session five begins with the group continuing the dungeon. DM tells me in front of the group, basic fluff. The biggest being that, if captured, he would rather fight to the death. Party spends two sessions finishing dungeon. One room in particular, I was left behind again by everyone. This time on purpose, and nearly died. Hey, this group, what, what group are you playing with? Man. They sound like assholes. Like, they, like be honest with you, that sort of group can suck my balls. Like, <laughs> yeah. First time, like, okay, yeah, I get it, it's funny. But see, after the second one, it's like, no, mate, come on here. Like, you know. What the fuck? <sighs> Party escapes into the north, where a party member goes full retard and announces to a patrol that we're not from the north. Why? And the party proceeds to get captured. Why? Why, why would you... Why would you do- hey, Mr. Policeman, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> well, like, you know... I, I, I didn't want to... I, I, I can't I, that's absolutely your Failing to convince the party that while outnumbered, we can win this fight. I proceed to die while taking two of the patrol members with me. DM asks why I didn't just surrender. He said... He fights to the death! He said he fights to the death. Okay, never mind. And that's death number four. The next character didn't last long, after the campaign was ended a few sessions later. I did my best to sum it up. I had fun playing with my friends, but the entire campaign was a shit show for many reasons. I mean, I don't think they're your friends. <laughs> because they keep trying to kill you. Well, I suppose we'll end this by saying about the last time. Well, I haven't died recently, but I'll tell you about the nearest one that I died. Well, like it was death seven years ago. <laughs> yeah. It may as well have been a death, okay? Um, so I'm playing as a little goblin swam. And I kind of started like LARPing halfway through as a like, golem. Lord of the Rings, because they end up having to tie a loop around me, because, like... <laughs> it burns out. Yeah, well, it was kind of like that, but I was... They were, like, they were using me to, like, excite... Like, I needed a bit of support, you know what I mean? I didn't want to feel my goals. I'd be like, like someone hold on to me at the very yeah, least while yeah. I try and do this stuff. So I kept dealing with that, and then we found someone... It was like they were curled up in a ball, and I go up to him and go, What's it got in its pockets? <laughs> What's it got in its pockets? And then Teal was like... Do you really want to do that? And I was like, yeah, fuck it, I'm not far in. Come on, let's just, <laughs> just do it. it. Yeah, um, well, I, I'm lucky, I'm very lucky. I got three hits, two of them hit, one missed, it, down to zero hit points. Oh, uh, no, actually, was it zero hit points? I think it was. I can't remember. And I, I, I think it was on Death Seven Throws, and then 
J-Leg fucking had to like suplex me in the back so he did <laughs> <laughs> um, but no I, I like I enjoyed it and I got a cold ring from it <laughs> I, actually did get a, like, I can't remember tell us about your deaths down below like if they were funny or any ones that were like uh, completely unjustified uh, yeah let us know what you think yeah you know, let us, ones let us yeah and if we get enough of them we might do a video yeah um, and also there's tons after this thread and I kind of enjoyed it I kind of enjoyed so, it so we might um, actually do this tomorrow yeah we might oh honest. no actually we'll probably do fresh prints we'll, oh yeah we'll, we'll do, do fresh cup bear tomorrow yeah we'll do cup bear tomorrow um, but like hope you guys enjoyed remember always like comment subscribe thanks for everyone for buying the models yes it's, it's thank you awesome. so much there's, there's a lot of models being bought at the minute and I know you boys love your lizard titties and I know it's sold out However, we my won't. fingers are sore from wrapping boxes. Yeah, put it like that. Um, I'll I'll get a bo- I'll take a picture of just today's. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's so many, but up. thank you so much. It means so much. It really yeah. does help our channel. Yeah, a it's lot. About, it's the best way to help us out. And you guys get cool models. And I know you guys really want the lizard titties. We'll try and get more. We're, we're going to get more in stock for you, uh, but boys. But the problem is, it does take time. And like you know, there's only so many you can print in a day. And like, there's a lot of logistical nightmares. But you'll get your titties back, boys. Don't worry, you know, it'll be back, back soon enough. But like as always, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.